I'm Paul Bovington, Simulation Product Manager here at Pickering Interfaces. I'm here today to show you our BMS test demo created in conjunction with Austin Consultants. So in this demo, we have an off-the-shelf BMS or battery management system, along with a Pickering chassis and various PXI modules fitted within it. These modules provide different functionality, for example, battery simulation, RTD simulation, fault insertion, power supplies to simulate charging, and a load module uh, for power dissipation. You can see in this simulation, uh, we encompass the different elements of testing a BMS. For example, here we are showing um, a charging circuit. So in this situation, we have a PXI power supply, which is connected through the BMS system, and that controls the power flow um, into our um, cell simulation, as shown here on the left. This is also um, used to simulate temperature. So inside, we have one of our RTD simulators connected to the BMS in order to simulate a temperature sensor. For example, we can connect it up to a higher um, temperature, and then you'll see that the BMS reports that it's over temperature. Likewise, if we reduce it to a low temperature, the BMS will return an under temperature condition. So there we are showing that the temperature control on the BMS is working correctly. Likewise on this, I mentioned fault insertion before. So each one of these connections is a connection between the BMS and the, and the cell. So if we open one of those, it's basically disconnecting that cell from the BMS through that uh, fault insertion module. And here you can see the BMS is reporting that it's now unbalanced because obviously that cell has been removed. Additionally, we can also simulate um, discharging. So the cells are actually in use. So here, again, we have the cells connected to the BMS, just like before. But now instead of being connected to a power supply to simulate charging, it's now connected to a power resistor module as a load. So here you can see current flowing from the cells into the load module. Also, we can simulate over voltage. So on here, all the cells are up to 3.98, 3.99 volts, which is obviously over voltage for a cell. Now the BMS has recognized this and is returning uh, a condition of over voltage. Again, showing that that functionality of this BMS is functioning as expected. The final test condition that the BMS demo can show is for an unbalanced cell situation. So if I click on there, you can now see that the BMS is showing unbalanced. This is because each cell is set to 3.22 volts, except this one here, which is set to 2.25 volts, which is now obviously showing as an unbalanced cell. So again, it is showing the correct functionality for this BMS. So that's a very brief overview of what this BMS test demo can do. It was created to give an idea of what can be created using the modular PXI platform. Here, obviously we have a chassis and you can load any PXI module you wish into that system in order to create a larger system. For example, communication cards, load cards, or cell simulation. There are applications where a chassis like this could actually be fully loaded with cells in order to simulate a full battery stack of electric vehicle, for example. It's a very brief overview of our BMS demo created in conjunction with Austin Consultants. Thank you for your time.